Hey, what's up everybody? It's Kellen here from Start Your Systems again, and welcome back to Monster Energy Supercross for the official game where we're continuing on with our career mode today. I think this is episode 10, and uh, we're right in the midst of our 450 career, and I finally have gotten onto an actual real factory team on the Honda HRC team. Uh, I'll just quickly point out that the Fox helmet that I'm wearing is a mod in the game, just so you're aware. It even says mod. It's a paid 2021 mod, so I'm not going to tell the console people you know you can't get the red bull helmet in game unfortunately uh just like using the mods to make the game for me look a little bit more kind of like realistic um but anyway so we've upgraded all of our abilities you guys saw that in the last episode so today we're doing uh atlanta and daytona but we're still trying to get through all of our trainings and um next up we're going to do the surgeon here looks like we got three more to go so we'll start with level seven here and try to get through all these and um, I'm just going to do trainings right now until I'm done with all of the trainings. And then we'll we'll do the events to kind of knock those out for the journal. But either one, I mean, they both take kind of a long time. So I'm trying not to take too much time doing them. Um, but anyway, so we know what this is all about. This is just trying to kind of like hit the, the marks, double in, etc. So right here, we're going to get this. Oh, it's a little offline right there come through double double I'm way off the line right here yeah it didn't quite work out 85% huh all right not working out my favor just yet but we'll make it happen so let's try again because we got two stars before these ones are just so hard to me because um, you just have to be like perfectly online like I wish it was more just like yeah see again I just messed it up because like I wish it was more of just like you had to perfectly downside the jumps. It didn't matter what side of the track you were on or whatever. Um, because the perfectly online part is like, it's just kind of hard to match up exactly the direction it wants you to go. The track doesn't necessarily always flow that direction or what have you. So again, 68%. I still need like a whole almost 20%. This first one, it just doesn't line you up very well for it. So let me take my time and try to get actually lined up for it. Still tried to get lined up and still didn't quite get it right. Alright, up to 50%. Yeah, it's still just the same thing, like 69%. That that turning double to the left, it like the angle it, it wants you to do that double just sucks. So anyway, passed it, but didn't get any of those done. So maybe I'll come back to that one later or something. I just didn't like that challenge. So hard though. All right, so we're on to Atlanta and Atlanta, as I remember it, the AI is kind of tough, not too hard, but um, not the easiest AI either. So I'm just gonna kind of try to play it straight up again. Um, and then Daytona, I remember they were also pretty tough as well. So I think both of these um, are just gonna be straight up races for me. Damn, I forgot to change the name and number on the back of my jersey so they were lighter. The black back of the jersey doesn't really like kind of flow with this gear set, but that's all right. I'll do it next time out. So here we go. Atlanta starting from the way outside, trying to get another hole shot. Not going to work out this time, but I'll run in deep to the outside here. Oh, too deep. Let off the brakes a little bit early. So we'll funnel in kind of mid pack here. Whoa. Oh, that was, uh, is that freeze going wild there? Mid rhythm come around on the outside and triple over these guys. Triple again, how the red plates look. Ooh, just so good. Red plates just look so clean on a, on a Honda. Factory Honda for sure too, but just on a Honda in general. Whoa, nose and then land. That was interesting. Uh, the factory Honda just, I don't know, like they, they obviously make the plates the exact same color as the, you know, the, the bike itself, the graphics, all that. And it just flows so good in my opinion. Uh, red plates usually look good on just about every bike. I haven't really seen a bike yet that I think the red plates look bad on. Um, but yeah, the Honda is just oh, so clean. I think maybe my favorite bike to have red plates on though is probably a Yamaha. I think just that contrasting blue and red, uh, it looks really good. I haven't really liked it this year on the Star Yamahas. And I think it's because their number plates are like kind of smaller for some reason. Like I think they're using a... Uh, a more tightened graphic around the rear plates and uh, the front plate as well and it just doesn't quite fill out as nicely as it as it used to I think but yeah red plates they look good maybe that's why GNCC was like dude red plates look so good on uh, 
on the motocross bikes when they're leading the points that let's just make everybody in the XC1 class run red plates, which is what they do. And then the points leader runs a red number uh, with a white plate. But I think that's actually been around a little while, so I'm not going to swear to that being the norm. Really, I don't know much about anything about GNCC. I'm playing awful right now. Just getting absolutely destroyed on this track that up until like the third corner it seemed like it was going to be pretty easy. I was just passing everybody and uh, not working out so well. So we're down in seventh. Got a couple minutes left to go. Cooper Webb just annihilated himself on the tunnel jump. And let's start using my preferred option in this rhythm section, which is go way out here and quad in and triple into the corner. Just this is faster straight up. Then you want to stay low on this triple, try to scrub onto the table. And bam, we just made up a ton, a ton of time right there. Up to Bowers. And then AP is going to be next. Just land on him, take him down, no problem. So we're up to third already. Made quick time. So as soon as I got in the zone, things started going a lot better for me here. And the inside, double, double. I haven't decided what I like in that split yet. I haven't decided whether I like going outside and doing the triple into the corner or inside double double because obviously you gain a lot of time going inside but then lose it by having to check up double double kind of an even split really um, kind of worked that way in real life a little bit as well but in the game it definitely seems to work quite well so I like that feeling of it so way out here again bag is going to come up the inside but we'll just try to quad over him uh, a little short still get the triple into the corner a little short on that as well but then we'll just triple out of the corner and bam right into the lead Zach's trying to get back underneath, but that's all right. Who's excited to see Zach Osborne running some number one plates, huh? In the outdoors this year. He's going to sit out the rest of uh, Supercross, he said, so he's not going to be back for those last two Salt Lakes, but Zacho with the number one, the red plates, is going to look really nice on that Husky. It's almost going to kind of be weird, honestly, to uh, see Eli Tomac with green, or uh, not green, uh, the, just the number three outdoors again we saw him most last year without red plates so that's not i guess that peculiar but uh he's been number one since the end of 2017 in outdoors so it's going to be a little while i'm trying to think uh that might be the longest someone's uh ran the number one outdoors maybe ever i mean obviously ricky you know he won just what basically 10 straight titles um, three 125 and then seven 252 stroke titles in the outdoors but he always ran number four um, pretty much always I think he ran number one uh, in his 125 days but um, Eli from basically the beginning of 2018 until the end of 2020 had the number one on his bike outdoors and Ricky didn't he ran four Dungey only won in 10 12 and 15 so he didn't consistently run the one and uh, I mean Villo you know, he won a couple times in the midst of there. Roxon won in 14 and 16, but that wasn't consecutively. So, yeah, maybe Eli Tomac straight up going to be the guy that uh, ran the number one plate consistently longest in the Premier Class outdoors. A little fun fact. Anyway, I digress. Got two laps to go here in Atlanta. And uh, opened up a nice little lead here. We're hitting all of our marks, flowing through these rhythm sections. I feel like this is going a lot faster than... Uh, I kind of expected it would be. We're eight minutes in and we're almost uh, going to be done with the main event here in Atlanta, but that just took a lot of time. Over the finish line, jump. Oof. Sometimes you come into a corner and you think you're just going to lay right into it. That slide into the corner just keeps going and going and going. There's a couple things I feel like I haven't quite got everything down with in terms of this game just yet. And uh, as always, another tough thing that I constantly deal with is jumping between games. So I've been trying to get like better at MX Bikes and MX Sim lately by just playing them a little bit more. And so I kind of get that feeling back and understand how those games work a little bit better. And then I come back to this game and, and try to play this game like those maybe a little bit too much and struggle at it. So constantly jumping between motocross games, your brain has to always reset just a little bit every time to uh, remember what you're playing, how you're supposed to play it. And for me, a little bit right here, kind of struggling. We'll bring it down to the finish line jump. Let's get a whip off this time. 
Oh, nope, it's not going to let me. It's going to do a knack knack instead. Look at those red plates. Oh, looks so good. Nicely done, nicely done. We extend our championship lead. Beating Ken Rocks and our arrival here. I didn't see the championship uh, standings. That was interesting. I thought for sure he was going to show it to us. All right, let me go to uh, customize here. Rider. And number color we want white. And I like this number better just because you can run it a little bit bigger. I feel like it just kind of fills off the back a little bit better. I think that looks pretty clean. All right, what happened in our journal? Did I complete something else? So what isn't completed? So we still need to do some more scrubs. We obviously need to complete some more races. We haven't done any qualifying sessions, so maybe I need to do those uh, soon. Haven't won any heat races. Um, and then East West Showdowns, I might need to drop back down and do the 250 class again. So uh, training sessions completed. Obviously, we're in the midst of that right now. So training stars is kind of the same thing. Um, let's see. Extra events, victories versus rivals. So we're almost going to hit gold there. Miles covered. We might get to that one pretty soon as well. Weeks completed. I guess they want us to do 50 weeks. And uh, bike setup changes. Going to need to do more of those. My whole shots are abysmal. But we've won one of one championship. And we're on our way to two of two championships. Uh, so continue on with training. Let's do something different. Let's go to the snake. Let's finish off these two. So we kind of work backwards here. I'm just kind of getting annoyed with the uh, the timing one. I forget what that's called. All right, so this is just uh, making sure we hit all those gates, get the maximum score. And if I remember right, this one, the reason I failed it the first time through was I actually, like, jumped over one because uh, I was carrying too much speed through a rhythm section. So a little interesting tidbit there. So let's just stay low to the ground this time, make sure we hit them all. We got plenty of time going here, so no need to uh, worry about that too much. Just got to try to hit all the gates, make sure we maximize our points. Roll, roll, roll through the sections here. We'll double up to this one right here. And then double down to this one so we don't over jump it. And up onto the table, up onto the next table. Bam, 750 points. Nailed it. Come to a stop in this corner. Do some donuts. Isn't there a way to do donuts? I thought there was for sure a way to do donuts in this game, but I'm messing it up. All right, change training. So we got that one done. We got one more left to do, level six. And that'll be four of the six or three of the five or whatever it is done uh, for this. All right, so 55 seconds. Pretty much got to make it through the whole track. So we'll just kind of hit stuff fairly normal. Make sure we're hitting all these gates, going the right speed, etc., etc. Little case right there. We're good. Kind of got to weave through these jumps a little bit. Double out. Double that. Through the whoops. And one more. Roll it. So we just get it. Bam. All right. So that wasn't too bad. Track wasn't that long. Let's see how far I can get around just kind of hot lapping now. Oh man, way out here. Get this berm clean. Almost quad it. Quad up. See me on the sidelines. Listen to the pops. All right, got that done. Sweet. And the showman. Um, again, this one's going to be kind of tough just because there's a couple of these that they want you to do certain things that they don't really give you enough jump to do it with, per se. This looks like we're starting off with a scrub. Too high, got yellow. Dang it. Step on, step off, and then get a nice whip off. Don't go off the track. I got two stars there, but there's only one extra star than I had, so up to 23 stars there. Uh, for this one out of 30. Still just struggling on these. Just can't quite get those uh, completed. Hey, right, but uh, we unlocked 
SX challenge. Oh, I got a million dollars. So we got the magma item. Magma. And on to Daytona, bro. Looking forward to tackling the old speedway here. 101,500 seats, but they only use about like 30,000 of them, I think. All right, let's see if we can't rip a whole shot from the far outside here. Maybe have to time the gate, let's see. Ah, oh, just mistiming it. Funnel into the mid pack. Oh, we're getting pushed out here. How did I slice all the way up to fifth through the second corner? Where are you going, Freeze? Jeez, pushing me way out here. Whoa, got a little kind of a hop right there. Launch way out to these. Just throw a little kick out over the finish line jump. Into the sand. We got Bogle leading, Freeze up the inside. I got trying to get around the outside of him here. Don't know why I decided to go outside in the sand. That usually doesn't work. Go outside here, get a drive for the triple. Maybe we can scrub it and get a drive for the whoops to just pass them both. Oh, freeze with an absolute yard sale in the whoops. Hopefully he doesn't get injured from that. Triple, triple, triple. So smooth, so clean. Oh, kind of clipped the inside berm there a little bit. Outside will triple in. Then I want to step on, step off, but I guess it's going to make me kind of try to go down in the middle there. Bogle alongside to drag race into the sand up to fifth gear. Yeah. Oh, Bogle running me over here into the corner. All right. So we're racing, racing. We're driving, driving. That inside is ridiculously <laughs> unfair because you can still double out of it. So up the inside of Barsha, try to get a run through these rollers to maybe jump all the way out. Just run over Tyler Bowers real quick. That man died right there on the track. So we got uh, Hill and Bogle still out front. Go up the inside, try to get Hill. I didn't realize I was still in third gear. I thought I was up down to second there. Second gear here. Tuck up the inside, try to get Bogle before the triple. Still triple. He's going to stay a lot lower, though, so he'll get me back. But then it's a drag race into the whoops. Ah, da, 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 da. Bogle, usually a guy that's pretty good in the whoops, but, man, he has just had a rough string of luck here lately. So it hasn't quite gone his way. Do I do the cheater line? Yeah, why not? I mean, honestly, like, the fact that they made that possible, too, is kind of ridiculous to me. But it is what it is. Look at the gap I opened up because of that. I mean, they're so far back there now suddenly. It's going to be a good lap, though. It's going to be a hot lap. Hard on those brakes to the inside. Get the power down and then coming in, you want to just fifth gear launch out. You want to try to get to that uh Fourth from the last roller, 19.4. I don't remember what my best time was on this track before. Uh, but that fourth from the last roller, if you can downside it, then you just kind of triple up to the finish line, and it's just smooth as silk. Absolute butter. So, so far, so good. Riding for Honda HRC. I think they're going to be pretty stoked about this. Going to break the curse of the GOAT, a.k.a. The fact that Factory Honda has not won a 450 championship, um, I think indoors or out, yeah, since uh, Ricky Carmichael left them in 2004. So, uh, fun facts galore today. I don't know why the rear end doesn't like sliding into that corner. kind of does in every other corner, but there it just doesn't. Can I quad onto the next table? Oh, just a fraction short right there. Gonna have some teeth marks in my handlebars probably after that one. Cruising right along here though, we are cooking out front. 
so smooth right there, but then didn't quite get the jump onto the table. I didn't really seat bounce it either, which I should have been. Coming down to 30 seconds to go, so I'll just go because if I, even if I wait, they're still going to make it in time. So left side of the track right there, there is like a basically lower line or just a flatter line to take. Fun facts. Wow, it said I had a 10 second lead on Bogle, but now he's suddenly right on me. I don't think that was 10 seconds. I think that's a timing and scoring glitch. So after we're done with Daytona, we're gonna have uh, pretty much the Salt Lake City swing, and I'm gonna try to figure out how I wanna do those. Might just do it again where uh, the 450 championship round, the last three rounds basically, I do one episode. So that'll be episode 13. We'll do uh, rounds 11 and 12 next time out for <coughs> episode 11. Continuing on with our domination on an HRC Honda. And yeah, this is still on realistic difficulty, realistic physics, manual transmission. The only thing I'm not doing, obviously, is playing in first person, but I would leave that to do uh, hardcore mode with. Woo! Got a nice slide ways corner there. Uh, Bogle's kept me honest. It's definitely not like I've ran away with it, and if I crash again, he's going to be right there. So again, inside here, and then you just want to tuck to the far left side of the track, get your speed going, because then you can just kind of take this like straightaway that exists right there and try to launch all the way out. Hmm, looks like I lost a little bit of speed taking it, actually. I wonder if maybe hitting the rollers carries your momentum just a little bit better or something. Swing to the outside. Oops, the daisies. It's a little bit too aggressive with the throttle there. In the end, pretty easy race win. I'm kind of looking forward to the Salt Lake City rounds. Uh, the Salt Lake City ones are definitely more of my favorite tracks in this game. And um, we haven't done some of them. I think 11, 12, and 13 we didn't do because we raced east. Um, or, or we raced west, I'm sorry, uh, before. So we'd already done some west rounds. We saw how those went. But uh, I'm looking forward to racing some of those uh, east coast Salt Lake City rounds in career mode. I like those tracks. I think uh, it's Salt Lake City 1 or... or it's actually, I think it's Salt Lake City 1. It's got just like this epic rhythm section through the first section, but we'll have that on the next episode as we are going to bring it down to the finish line and take the victory here, knocking stuff out all the while here in career mode. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. A quick little episode here today. It's gone by pretty fast. Um, but yeah, two wins, Atlanta, Daytona, knocking those out and on our way to a championship here in the 450 class, having a good time as always. But thanks you guys for stopping by and watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one.